Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Kim from the Farmhouse Craftaholics, a channel where we're going to teach you simple, easy farmhouse style crafts on a budget. So stick around. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a cute little beehive honeycomb inspired sign to go with all those beehive, craft, bee, beehive crafts, to go with all those beehive crafts that have been so popular lately. So stick around. I hope you'll uh, watch to the end and uh, see how it goes. All right, so I'm going to take my first move will be, where is, oh, my brushes. Okay, paintbrush, cheap, chippy old paintbrush and uh, some white paint. As you can, it's hard to see there, but I just have some vintage white paint because I want this to be a farmhouse style. So I'm going to just give this a quick base coat. This does not have to be perfect because we're going to be doing a technique over it. Um, to create the honeycomb look. So this is not going to have to be perfect. Just get yourself a coat of paint on there and do the edges if you'd like. That's completely up to you. I like to do a video this way. Um, I do a lot of Facebook lives over on my page, Farmhouse Craftaholics. Shameless plug. Um, and I am very comfortable with this format. I've been trying to figure out the best format for me and YouTube and my people and new people. And since most people are typically working on their phones or watching on their phones, I think this might be the best way to go. And uh, stick around because they're going to get better. This is my, my first crack at YouTube, guys. And so um, I can only improve, right? So where is... All right. Excuse me for a minute. The next step is the secret ingredient. So you need a piece about the size of your sign. Roughly, it doesn't have to be exact. We're going to cut it up a little bit. So cut yourself a piece about the size of your sign. Trim it up a little. Doesn't have to be perfect. And now we're going to, I want all this, I don't want it to be perfect, so I'm going to cut a couple pieces out, like that, maybe up here, and then pull some off the ends so it's not so straight. See that we're just kind of gonna pull along there a little bit pop a few of the bubbles if you care to all right like so all right we're gonna move this out of the way for a second now I'm just going to put this down bubbly side there's the smooth side there and the bubbly side there bubbly side up okay now the next step is to grab yourself some brown paint like this see that and put it on the tray with the white, just beside it. 
There we go. So there's the white and there's the brown. Take yourself a paintbrush. Get into the brown paint and then dip it in the white. And we're just trying to go for a couple of different shades on there. Kind of want it all mixed together like that. Okay. And then you're simply going to paint over your beehive. Or, well, this is what's going to make the beehive look. And then you can go back and grab some just of the darker brown. Okay. You don't want too much dark brown though because it'll compete with, with the stenciling you're going to put on there later. So just a little bit. So you have different shades in there. So, and you don't want to, I mean, anything can happen, it's okay. Uh, but you don't want it to go down in there and you want this to stay wet. So you want it to move fast. When this is wet now, you're going to take back your sign, which is dry, and this, which is wet. Just lay it on top there, okay? And then push down. Just press. Hopefully the wet paint will transfer. That's the idea. And pull it back up. And there you go. You have some beehive. Now, if you want to put some more in here, just like that. All right, you might need a little more paint there. So go back to your brush, grab a little more paint along there, and just all right, maybe more paint. So I'm going to can you see that? I come up to the edge of this right there. There we go. Just tap it in where you want it. Okay, it's gonna be different shades. You can go in different directions. And before you know it, you got yourself some pretty cool looking beehive type of effect going on. Now, if that's too dark for you, You can go back in with your white, really dry brush, very, very little paint. And if you want to tone it down a little bit, just take your white paint and just do a light wash over it. See how that lightens it up? Without getting rid of all the color. That's completely up to you. So now we've got our beehive going on. And I'm pretty impressed with that. So our next step will be to add the stencil. Okay, so we're gonna put our stencil on here. Make sure it's straight. I'm going to go in with some black paint now. So, very, very little when it comes to stencil. So take your makeup sponge, cosmetic sponge, dip it in your paint. See that? It's all drippy and wet. Stamp it really firmly. 
Now look, does it look dry? It's not, but it looks dry. Have a look, see what's happening. Can you see that? Be careful of the edges. Have a look. Oh, I like that. So far, so good. So that can come off. One last little step. Take this tiny little brush. See that? Get some paint. And you can fill in. Okay, so far so good. And one tiny, one final little touch is I found these little bee thumbtacks. And there we go. There you go. A cute little wooden sign with the honeycomb. The cute little honeycomb look to go with all that bee decor you have. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you'll come back and visit our channel more often. Um, we upload every week new videos. And uh, we stay in the farmhouse style. So don't forget to subscribe. Um, comment, watch some videos, and thank you for your support. I really, really love you all. Thanks. Bye-bye.